I'm going to show you how to change the battery on a watch. If it's an expensive watch, it might be worth spending the five, ten dollars and letting somebody take care of it for you, because you can completely screw these things up, break the uh, glass over there, or ruin something. So it's up to you if you want to do this, but I'm going to show you how I do it. I use a screwdriver. You can use uh, if you go to a watch place, they use something like a butter knife to go in there and do the separation of the back from the front and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use my screwdriver and show you how that's done. On the first watch I'm going to go here with the screwdriver. It's a little bit too thick so I'm going to use a thinner blade. You need to get a, a blade that will slip in here. But you don't want to break your screwdriver so try to find a tool that you're not going to ruin. And that's why sometimes this makes sense to let somebody do it for you so that you don't damage the case. If it's an expensive watch, it's not worth ruining. So I've got a small screwdriver. I'll try this one here, see what happens. Try to get that in the camera. You just need to find an indent. There's usually a little indent where you can put a, a screwdriver or a dividing uh, a tool in there to, to break this loose. So let me find out where that is right now with some light. It's really hard to see, but there's a little indent, a little, uh, you can see the screwdriver is going to go in there right now. Let me try to get a better picture. Right in the corner, and you just saw the case pop off. So remove the back. You can see there is a battery in there. You have to look to see what's holding the battery in. Sometimes it is just uh, spring fit, and other times it's held down with a bracket. You have to remove the screw. So look and see what you need to do. Let me try to get a better picture. There you go. You can see that it's just being held in by a little uh, spring clip. So I'll pop that battery out, put a new one in, and I should be able to put the cover back on. This watch over here is going to need a press device to press this uh, cover on, and I'll show you how to do that. You've got to be really careful with these things. If you pound it with a hammer, you're going to break the crystal. So let me put a new battery in on the left one. As for this one, I think you can see the little notch down there. Hopefully you can. It's a little notch over there where the screwdriver will go in there. So I'll put my prying tool inside and try to pop the back off. Let me get that tool in there. There it goes, you can see, I think, you, yeah. You can see the screwdriver is in there. You heard it pop, and believe me, that takes a lot of pressure to put back on. There is no way with your fingers that you were gonna be able to squeeze on the bottom and get this to seat you do need a press. If you try to do it with a hammer again, you're going to break the crystal. I will show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, I'm taking the back off right now. And let's see what we have here. Let me get this in the camera. So you can see the battery is stuck under this piece of plastic over here which I will lift up and I'll get the uh, numbers off the battery and then I'll replace them and if everything works right both of these watches should start up again. I'm going to use a voltmeter to check the battery before I install the new one. So let me show you the old battery. Old battery is going to read 0 0.570, half a volt. I'm going to go over to the new battery now, and the voltage on that is 1.58. So you can see that the new battery has the power that it needs. The old battery is dead. And now I'm going to put that battery inside the watch. New battery is installed, and you can see the second hand is moving. So I'm going to turn this thing around, put it on the table with some cloth so I don't scratch it. I'm going to press the back on. Remember these type of watches don't really require a lot of pressure to snap the back on. 
and don't use a hammer. Make sure you have something underneath so you don't crack the glass and press firmly and it should snap the back on. You can see there is an indent, a cutout on this side made for the watch stem, the hand. So make sure you put this on the right way. It won't go on the wrong way, but you don't want to press this piece on the stem and break it. Have the back cover on. And press with my fingers around the edges, not on the crystal. And you heard the little pop, I think. Heard the little snap crackle. And what do we have here? We have a watch that's fixed with a battery that costs next to nothing online. If you go into a store, they're probably three or four times more. If you have somebody replace it, maybe $10 to replace the thing. Usually they will charge you $10 for the battery and do the replacement for free. So you can do this for about 50 cents to a dollar and a half or so on your own. On this watch, I had to remove the plastic piece. The plastic piece goes around the inside of the watch, covers the battery, protecting it from being shorted out, and carefully remove that. Don't You don't want to use uh, tweezers or a screwdriver because you're probably going to have a dead battery, but you don't want to do that anyway because you could short out the top and the bottom of the battery and maybe blow the watch, maybe not, but you will be shorting the battery out, which you don't want to do. So after you remove this plastic piece or whatever you have inside your watch, you're just going to go there, maybe with your fingernail or a tiny little probe of some type, hopefully not metallic, and pop the battery out, measure the new battery if you want to, put a new battery in, put the plastic piece back on, and then we will get to popping this cover on there. I just put the new battery in there, and second hand is turning. Make sure when you put the plastic piece in there that you don't break your stem. There are different uh, ridges on these watches on the plastic pieces so that it fits around the components and the stem. So make sure you might want to take a marker, make a line on the watch body and the plastic piece so you know, know exactly where it's going to line up when you put it back in. And now it's time to put on the back of the watch. The fun part. Here we have a press set for watches to put the back on. And they come with, this one I bought online comes with uh, six pieces of one style and six pieces of another. Now you can see their numbers on these things and like 31, 32, 36, 37, or 38 or whatever it is. So one type of piece is this which is used to press on the back of the, uh, this piece, the back of the watch. And then you've got these pieces, which double as two different sizes, as you can see. And that is made so that you place the watch in there and you will not crack the crystal. The, you want to have this set up so that the watch rests in there. The body of the watch rests on the edges. And so when you're pressing down, you're not going to crack the crystal. And then after you figure out which ones you need, you take them and you screw them onto the top and the bottom of this little tool over here. And then you put it in and press down with this cheap handle. And if you did it right and you don't hear a crack, hopefully the bottom piece is snapped and pressed into the back of the watch. So I'm going to get these things screwed onto the tool right now. And you can watch me as I do this and see if I break it or if it works. I've got the top and the bottom. I've got inside here number 32 not that it matters but this is number 32 facing up and this is number 26 facing up facing upward so you have a choice of using different sizes this is again to protect the crystal from being cracked and I'm using a smaller piece to do the pressing onto the back over here I don't really need a large piece I need the force going around here so then I'll squeeze the handle, and if it works right, there should be a little pop, or if, even if there isn't a pop, as long as it presses shut, that's the main thing. That's the important thing. That's all that matters. 
these pieces of plastic are extremely cheap. So when you screw them onto the threaded pieces, go slowly and carefully so you don't cross strip, cross thread everything and ruin it. Because that is what will happen. Make sure you do not have the stem of the watch pressing on the outer rim over there. You don't want to screw that up. Let me zoom in as best as I can. And you can watch me do this. I think I have the camera adjusted properly so you can see what I'm doing. Again, you are just pressing down. You want the pressure in the middle. That's the whole idea of the tool, is just to apply pressure. I heard a snap, I heard a pop, but I don't think it snapped closed. Maybe it did. No, I can still see the edges up over there. And it didn't close at all. So, it didn't work. Looks like it worked. It definitely worked. I'm going to do this one more time just to make sure it's seated properly. So let me position this so you can see what I just did. You can, I believe, see that there is no more gaposis around the edge like you saw before. Get this out of the way so there's more light. And that's how you use a watch press. See, I can stick my thumb in there. And it should be pressed on just a little bit more, I think. Let me look. Huh. It appears to be on there. I don't think the back is going to come off. So that's how you do this. If you like my video, do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like if you want to help me out. And this saved you a few thousand dollars. Maybe you want to go to my channel page and click on the support button and pop something in there. And if you don't, that's cool too. All right. I do hope this helped you and saved you some time. Good luck. Don't break the crystal.